Hi, my name is Alexandra and welcome to my channel Family Code. Mm, I was looking for a topic for today's video and uh, uh, I decided to talk about codependency because I realize how important this topic is. And uh, with my last videos about anemia and the lack of energy and uh, putting uh, the needs of the other people um, over your own, I decided to make another video on this topic and it's also connected to addictions because please remember that addictions are not only the addictions to alcohol, drugs or the ones that are advertised on the TV uh, or on the media. Addictions can be very let's say normal movements that kind of distract you from your life or, or from taking care of yourself or there can be some actions or something you need to do first in order to get motivated to do something with your own life. So um, I would like us to ask ourselves a very important question. How is it in your life? Let's say, do you act, do you decide out of your own needs or do you need a certain motivation or a small addiction like a first coffee to do something? Or, for example, you regulate your mood. Let's say you woke up, um, you're not happy, you want to study for your school or additional training that you're doing in order to get a better job and you have no motivation at all to do that. And then, what happens then? Can you motivate yourself without any external sources or any external charges like coffee, first going shopping or first going for a walk or first uh, watching a movie and then doing the stuff that you need to do. Because if it's the case, then it might be that imagine um, you're like a laptop and then in order to work or to do something or decide, you need to plug yourself into the current. And this current comes not from yourself in this case, but comes from a third party, so to speak, or a third kind of a source of connection, which is usually a small addiction that we do not necessarily consciously see or perceive it as an addiction. Because let's face it, everybody drinks coffee in the morning. I also have my coffee here. Uh, but the, the, the thing that I want to distinguish here is, can you do something out of your own power out of your own charge or do you need external charges and very often in codependency especially you need these external charges i don't mean alcohol here necessarily but some other things that you constantly do in order to regulate yourself and then to get down to business, to maybe take a decision, to work on yourself, to work on your studies or your passions or whatever your business idea is, or maybe even work on yourself. So uh, in case you have a certain regulator, be it shopping, be it rescuing dogs and cats, which by the way is also a means of self-regulation, can be in certain situations if you do it regularly, right? And then you might ask, okay, Alexandra, but where does that all come from? So when do we need, when do, when we have, we realize that we do have this external source of regulation that we do have to plug ourselves into the charge uh, of something to motivate us to do something, then um, the answer is to that question is that we have this pattern from our childhood. Usually uh, such people were parentified when they were kids. They had to take care of themselves, maybe of their siblings, and also they had to take care of the mood of their parent because in such families usually the parents quarreled a lot. Um, there was uh, this, uh, this uh, content. Uh, quarrels, arguments, even fights, sometimes even abuse, and sometimes maybe the abuse was just silent days, 
which is also another form of abuse. So when you uh, see that, yes, you need to get plugged into an external regulator to motivate yourself and also beware. Uh, I don't like this word motivation because I think it's um, it's um, it's overused in, in modern times. But maybe uh, you find another addiction like this, uh, like watching on YouTube every day, motivation videos, uh, videos, coaching videos or videos, how to do stuff or how to do this or how to do that or how to learn this or how to motivate yourself to go after your passion. That can also become an addiction. Um, I've been there. Uh, I also had something like this that I was keeping up with all these videos and watching and watching and watching. But then I did realize that, hey, my life will not change because I'm watching some, something or I'm, I'm regulating my emotions by watching motivational videos. And then I think, oh, yes, I can do it. So again, um, this is external motivation. And with healthy people, the motivation should come from here, from inside. So the healthy motivation is that you don't, is when you don't need an external regulator, is that you don't need these small little addictions on the way that motivate you before you get down to work or before you get down to study or before you take a decision. Motivation should be when you just decide, okay, I'm gonna do it now without having a walk first, without doing shopping first, without having a coffee first, without escaping first to motivate yourself and then getting back to yourself and maybe even forcing yourself. Because sometimes I, I, I was just wondering, I don't know what's your opinion on that, that maybe even this motivation is, a, I don't want to say maybe a form of abuse, but when you need motivation, it means uh, kind of that um, you're forcing yourself to do something that you are told to do or you want to do that it's not yours. This, th these are the thoughts I, I've been having recently about the motivation topic that if you need to motivate yourself that means that maybe this thing is not for you, that maybe this job is not yours, that maybe this business, this passion of yours is not really what um, uh, yeah, what makes you happy, what makes you go forward. Um, very interesting topic with this motivation. So we started with codependency, uh, with addiction patterns, and now we finish with motivation. But it's just some food for thought for you today. Uh, I stopped watching motivational videos. Uh, I just do stuff now. Because I noticed that when I was watching motivational videos, I was putting away my actions because the time for the actions was consumed by the time of watching the motivational videos. Okay, that's all for the moment. Let me know what you think about it, what your thoughts are. I will be very happy to answer your comments and I wish you a lovely day.